We will defend his right to be retarded online mm. as long as he wants to be. But the fact of the matter is, he needs to know what the f he's talking about. No one wants to stay in France, mate. No, France is a f hole. He Look, uh, I think the, the, the thing they're all reacting to is Sir Ella Braverman called it an invasion, mm -hmm. which I think is an ill-advised thing to say. Yeah. Although, if 50,000 people nearly a year are coming in without any checks yeah. uh, on small boats, I mean, I wouldn't use the term invasion. No. But you're... I mean, that's a big fucking problem that he's dealing with. Of course it's a big problem. It's a huge problem. And the problem is they're not being allowed to discuss this problem honestly because then people come on from the other side and they hurl epithets and they say, this is racist, this is a sign of Germany in the 1930s, which is an infantile response. Mm. It's an infantile response because if you know anything about the, you know, the Weimar Republic and then how it slid into Nazism, that is not how what happened. Well, people weren't trying. This is this is the problem that all these woke lefties don't seem to have ever mm. considered in the head. If Britain is such a terrible country, hates immigrants, xenophobic, mm. racist, etc. Yeah. Why are all these people wanting to come here? It's true. And we all know why. And you alluded to you in your brilliant clip at the beginning, right? Yeah. Imagine your car breaks down. Yeah. Or catches fire. Yeah. Right. And someone goes, you know what? You can get a replacement. Yeah. You can either get a Rolls Royce yeah. or a Citroën. Yeah. Exactly. No one wants to stay in France, mate. No, France is a shithole. Even the French don't want to stay in no. France. That's why they're so upset about Brexit. Oh, I want to go back to England. Where does he have money? Mm -hmm. You have to know what you're talking about. Yeah. When you're saying something as as inflammatory, as incendiary, as comparing the current Home Secretary mm -hmm. to Nazi leaders in Germany in the 30s. Yeah. You better be pretty damn sure that you're making an accurate comparison. Like, I, you know my position on, on Putin and his invasion of Ukraine. I thought you were going to say my position on Nazis. I'm like, no, mate. <laughs> I mean, I, I, can, I can elaborate if you want, right? Yeah. But I, sh I cringe a little bit when people compare Putin to Hitler yeah. most of the time. There are some comparisons to be made, but nothing to do with, like, racism or mm. ethnic cleansing or anything like that, mm -hmm. right? I cringe because it's historically inaccurate. Yeah. Right. There's a and and that, you know, that is obviously a much closer analogy mm. than Suella Braverman, who's just trying to get to grips with the fact that we don't have an enforced border at the moment. Yeah. There's nothing. There is literally nothing to be compared with in what she said and the Third Reich. There just isn't. No. Right? And for someone with millions of followers to be saying that. He's allowed to say it. We will defend his right to be retarded online mm. as long as he wants to be. But the fact of the matter is he needs to know what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah. And he doesn't. Exactly. And this is also the problem as well. You get people who have got huge online followings. They've got massive careers in which they were incredibly successful in that career. And for Gary Lineker, he's been very successful in two careers. Number one, he was an outstanding footballer. And number two, He's a brilliant broadcaster, sports broadcaster. And as a result of that... Well, let's translate that into human language, Francis. Yeah. He was very good at hitting a ball with his head and his feet. Yeah. And then he was very good at talking to other people who hit balls with their heads and their feet. Yeah. That's what he's good at. Yeah. Right? That That isn't necessarily the best setup for commenting on geopolitics. No, I know. I know. And the result of that is because he's got this huge amount of confidence because... He has been highly successful in two very competitive fields. He now thinks that he can then just wade into every subject without knowing the first thing about that subject. And guess what, Gary? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, exactly. You can't. Now, listen to me talk about geopolitics. What I don't understand is mm -hmm. why anyone would be against stopping illegal immigration. Because if you care about refugees... Yeah then you should care most of all about us setting up a system mm -hmm. where people who are genuine refugees and, and who have a legitimate asylum claim mm -hmm. can have their application processed quickly mm -hmm. and fairly yeah. instead of having to cross the channel in a dinghy yeah. and compete for refugee status with a lot of, load of people who are coming from places like Albania who are not refugees at all. Exactly. Right? Uh, and and the problem, not the biggest problem actually with what Gary Lineker is doing and people like him and what they're saying is that they will end up, we will end up as a result of what they're saying in a position where the majority of the public gets so fed up mm -hmm. with having tens of thousands of people come mm -hmm. into this country illegally that they will say, well, I don't want anyone coming in.
Yeah. Right. And then we were not going to be in a position to actually do the what, in my opinion, is the right thing, which is, you know, when when people from Hong Kong were mm -hmm. fleeing Chinese oppression. Yeah. A lot of them were able to come to this country, and they're the, exactly the people that we should be welcoming. And in my yeah, opinion. yeah, we exactly, and we should welcome they speak them. Speak English. They, right? we, they've got the similar culture, part of, formerly part of the British Empire. Great food. Yeah, better than Albanian food. Well, so we should prioritize them. We prioritize them. Yeah, yeah. Same with Ukrainians. We, we yeah. have some of them coming in at a time when they ge genuinely need it. Yeah. I, I hope uh, a lot of them will go back once their country's uh, back up and running. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're not going to be in a position to look after people who actually need looking after if we allow loads of people to come in without even knowing who they are. Right? Yeah. Because you undermine the public's confidence in the immigration system. When I came into this country in 1995, late 95, early 96, mm -hmm. do you know what the net immigration was in 1996 probably, into this country. Probably around 30,000. 55,000, so, yeah. right? We have nearly as many people coming into Britain illegally yeah. as we had people coming into Britain legally mm. when I first came here. Yeah. Does that, is that not incredible? Yeah, it is. We have nearly the same number of people, but they're coming in illegally. And in mm. addition to that, we have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people coming legally. So the fact that British people are concerned about it to me, is perfectly legitimate. Uh, whether you agree with it or not, by the way, the problem is people keep voting uh, and, and not getting the results that they voted for. Well, this is a problem. It's what happens to a political system where people consistently vote for policies that are not getting implemented. Mm. Eventually, people will stop, want, will stop voting. Apathy